Hatch Cross Stitch lets you perform various transformations on selected blocks of cross stitches. You can move them, rotate them in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, and you can also mirror blocks of cross stitches, either horizontally or vertically. I'm going to select this rose, and I'm going to left click on the rotate button, and it rotates it to the right. And we'll just put it up here somewhere. I'll select this one, and I'll right click on the rotate button, and it rotates it that way. And I'll move it down here. Let's move this one in a little bit more now that I have some space. We can also mirror horizontally and vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Polygon Select tool, and I'm going to select this rose, copy it, paste, mirror, and I'll move it over here. Now, it's not going in the right direction, so I'm going to flip it again, and I can move it into position. Another fun tool we have in Hatch Cross Stitch is the Rubber Stamp tool. Let's see how that works. I use the Rubber Stamp tool to create this border. I need to start with a selection. I'll select the flower. Now the Rubber Stamp tool is active. And when I click it, it attaches it to my cursor. And I can just start putting these anywhere I want. With the Rubber Stamp tool, I can also mirror. I'll click the Mirror button. I'll put one there, I'll mirror again, and put one here. Now when I created my border, after I did that, I selected this, and then I clicked my rubber stamp tool. And this makes it super easy to create quick borders. To release the tool, either click another tool or press Escape. In a few of the other videos, you saw combined fractional stitches in one cross stitch block. Let's see how to do that. First, we need to make sure that we're in insert mode. If you don't see insert down here on the status bar, you can go to edit and make sure that it's checked here. If it's unchecked, notice that down there on the status bar it says overwrite. With insert mode, we can insert multiple stitches into one cell. If it's in overwrite mode, then if we put a fractional stitch in there and there's something else in there, it's going to overwrite that. So I'll make sure I have fill stitch selected. I'll select the pencil tool. I'll come over here and I'll select a fractional stitch. And what I need to do is to tell it what corner I want to put this in. I'll put it in that corner. Let's zoom up a little bit more. To use one of these fractional stitches, I just click in the corner where I want that to be. Now let's put a fractional stitch here, and now I'll select this one, the quarter stitch, and I'll pick a different color, and I'll click in this bottom corner. And you can see, there we have that little stitch there. Now what if I click over here? It overwrote that one, because it's, it's stitching over one that's already existing. I'll select a color, I'll select the mini cross, Put that up there. Select this. Let's select this one. Select a color. Put that one down there. Select another color. Put that one there. And select another color and put one down there. If I select the half cross and select a color, select another color, I can get a cross stitch that looks like that. You can easily add borders to filled areas. I'll start by selecting a single line. I'll select a color. Then I'll select the Area Fill tool. And I'll click inside the area. And I can get outlines around each of the objects. I'll undo that. This time I'll select Current Cross Type. And let's select, let's select this one. I'll keep with the black. Make sure I have the Area Fill tool selected, and just click inside the fill that I want to outline. And there we have Instant Outlines. Now notice on this one, it replaced those outer stitches around the edge with the outline. 
Are you beginning to see the possibilities here with cross-stitch? It's so much fun. In the next lesson, we'll look at adjusting cross-stitch colors.